Are you guys ready to see one of the most spectacular properties in all the California coast? Come on in, get ready for it. Four, five, two, seven Perham, Cameo Shores in Corona Del Mar, brand new construction. Multi-year project. We've been involved in this for four years. Four, Mike, three, three, Mike four how, years. how many times you've been on this this, this 50, lot? Fifty thousand times. <laughs> I know. It's. I mean, probably close to hundred. Oh, please, yeah. more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah me yeah. a third of that. But yeah, yeah. so you're you're gonna go on a tour with us of one of our favorite properties. I know we say that sometimes, <laughs> maybe once too many, too they're often. All, they're all our favorite properties. It's like someone. No, this one is really special. Well, I'll tell you why. Yeah. From an availability standpoint, right now, as we stand here, there's no customs available for sale. Yeah, brand new customs. Yeah, yeah, yeah brand yeah. new. Yeah. That have never yeah. been lived in. Yeah. This is out the box. It's it's not even done. It's frankly. got that new car Fra smell. Frankly, it's not even done. I mean, there are people here today finishing the garage. It's the people are saying, is it 2021? No, it's 2022. It's like July 2022. It's just yeah. done. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Talk is cheap. Let's go through the Let's tour, go. show Let's you go. what we mean. Don't don't forget about over here. We have a bedroom slash office, but you know, forget that. Let's go straight out here. Elevator, massive powder room. The thing that people always kind of comment on as they come through here is like, wow, it's so open and like the space, right? This is what 9,100 9, square feet, every single room feels super spacious. Yeah. Like every yeah. single bedroom has a king bed in it. And like, look at the size of this furniture. Let's, let's go through the specs real quick. You yeah. said 9,100 square feet. Yep. You got five bedrooms, yep. eight bathrooms. Yep. You've got a movie theater. Yep. You've got a 10 to 12 car garage easy that's about 2,500 square feet. 11 foot ceilings. You could, even if you wanted to go crazy with the lifts, you yep. could put more than 10, 12 cars. For sure. You've got a kind of an automobile showroom vibe with the two glass panels yep. from your game room bar into the garage. So yep. you can showcase your favorite whip, your set of cars. We walk down the stairs, you look to the left or to the right, excuse me. And it's like the showroom windows and your cars are peeking out. It's like, what's up, baby? I see you. The, yeah. home, the home, again, as you said, brand new construction. Yeah. Designed by Mark Teal. Yep. Built by SC Homes. Mark Teal, by the way, who, who just stopped by recently. We were talking with him. He's done 17 homes recently in this in this community. Yeah. I, I, and, yeah that, he, that, and by the way, that's like more than 10%, frankly, because you know, you're only looking at about 170 homes in this community, right? So well, if, if you I would say 17, he, I, if you take down that number to the actual new construction properties, he's probably done close and ones with basements. Yeah. He's probably done like, close to a third or a quarter I was of all say of them. 30, 30% yeah. for uh, sure. Yeah. The reason why we love Mark and, and by the way, he's awesome. And he's super like some, you know, some, you know, people, <laughs> what, what, no, no, no. Look, he's an artist, but he's approachable. Right, he's awesome. He, he's he's awesome. super approachable. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the the owner on this property really wanted this open concept. This is uh, not their first rodeo in this neighborhood. Right. A couple things they did. The last house they built here, they, they put the primary suite on the south side. Yep. This time it's flip-flopping around. Yep. You got the primary suite on the north side. And why is that? Because this open concept kitchen just goes right out to this amazing view. And well, well, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but because frankly, you don't spend your time in your, you, you go to bed at, Nine or ten or eleven p.m. Well, I go to bed wake up in the morning, but what? anyways, yeah, well, I stay up late. But you spend all your time and, and your friends, right? Like, this is all about like entertainment. So yeah. you spend the time over here. You might not even cook in this kitchen because there's an amazing back kitchen. It's a full back kitchen. This is where you are going to spend a lot of time. Steve is entering my favorite part of the house because we love to cook. I'm a messy cook. Yeah, this is where the actual prep works. The mise en place gets made. This yeah. is where all the magic happens. Listen, listen, I'm, listen, I'm getting rid of this right here. This thing's gone. I'm taking this thing away. And this is like, this is where we're rolling pasta, okay? This is where yeah. we're rolling pasta. The this kids, the kids like, when they want to make the pizza dough, right here. Yeah. And then guess what? Your guests come. Six, six burner wolf. Yeah. You got fridge freezer. Fridge. Micro, well, we don't use micros, but whatever. You get, you know, you have your uh, thing yeah. over here. Dishwasher, dishwasher over here. Another full sink. Um, this is where all the prep and all the preparation could be a great catering kitchen as a connection to the right to the outside. So obviously this is where kind of the dirty cooking happens. You come out to your showcase kitchen yeah. where everybody says, wow, everything's perfect. Yeah. Can't can't live without the espresso maker. Yeah, the, the, so you got wool, 
Wolf, wolf, wolf. Paul, say wolf. Yeah, wolf. <laughs> um, this is my one of my favorite devices. I have it at my house. It's the 60 inch wolf double oven. You don't get one smaller oven. Yeah, you, you get, get the double, double, double oven. Double, double. This is where the most amazing pancakes and crepes get made. Oh my god! Right here. This is like the the grilled cheese mecca. So listen, we don't want to get we don't want to get lost in the details because we want to get people the full overview. Yeah. Um, really, you're talking about. A couple of things that they did on this property that I haven't seen before that I think it's important to note. One, the what? whole the whole floor here is concrete. Yeah. Right. What does okay. that do for us? Oh, sound proof. Yeah. So you're in the theater, Soundproof. blasting the new Top Gun. This is like this is th almost two three feet of solid concrete. Right. So, so you can have a whole football team like doing their like, what's up, what's up, what's up. <laughs> <laughs> but so listen. So last house, obviously yeah. this owner built. He said, hey, when I'm down in the theater, my wife can hear me when she's sleeping in the bedroom. Yeah. The guys are downstairs playing ping pong or pool. Mm -mm. The noise is coming up. Not None of it. that happened Not here. Not yeah. So that's one. Two, deleted the breakfast you know, nook, if you will, in this really cool design. You've got this wood table in, inlaid or built into the Stone Island. Which you, you know what? I, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. You know what I can see right here? I see our man Soda yeah. right here making some sushi and yeah. all of us are like poached up or, or you know perched up around here yeah and, and this it's does like, feel like that sushi bar i feel vibe. like this is soda in yeah. our own cameo shores house we love nobu that it's in oc yeah. we love we love sushi roku but yeah. so does our local favorite sushi spot in corona del mar and honestly i i mean even though i'm tall i yeah. hate sitting on a tall bar stool in my uh, house well listen right? I'm, so I'm, like, not, I'm not tall and I, yeah. and I don't like that either but this is i mean you're talking about regular seat height this is like no. This is this is better than a breakfast nook. No, me. and the way they inlaid this, this is like it's a beautiful, phenomenal, solid wood, and well and done. Another genius idea. You see all this new gra glass railing on these properties, yep. and you look onto the rooftops below, and now instead you've got this beautiful, like fogged out, you know, film that's been put over the glass. That at sitting, you see no rooftops, and that jetty view. Yeah. Agents today, you know, we had the broker preview, obviously almost a hundred agents came through. The agents that know this area that have seen it since it was be being built and developed said this is one of the best lots in the entire community. Yeah. And it's because you've got very little rooftop obstruction and you've got amazing direct jetty views. We don't even have the lights on right now, but, um, or the pool lights, so. Sorry about that. Can you, can you make that happen for us? Let me grab you, the- You got the amp on your let phone, Let me grab the you? iPad. No, yeah. no, it's not on my phone, but while my, Keep well, talking. Listen, yeah. While Michael's do, grabbing that, let's uh, let's check out this outdoor space because you you got this beautiful fireplace, you got this beautiful outdoor space. This rolls right into your primary suite, and I wish there was a little drawbridge or something for you to cross over, Steve. Uh, but why don't you whip around over here while Mike gets the lights on? You can't hear a sound. People love Cameo Shores because you can have literally almost no sound. So there's an airplane flying overhead. You have to stop and try to listen for it because it's so quiet. You got the jetty with all the active boats coming in and out of the harbor, but you don't hear any of it. So it's very peaceful, calm living. You got three points to access the ocean, Third Beach, Jump Rock, and Crystal Cove State Park. I love Crystal Cove State Park. You hit the key, you roll into it, you walk on a Pelican Hill golf course, you walk down to Crystal Cove, you grab a bite of Beach Comer. It's literally the definition of living like you're on vacation. Let's roll back over here. The thing I love about this, you know, new construction, just zero transitions, right? Stone right to the wood. There's not even, your finger can't even feel the difference. All the tracks are inlaid. Um, I love the stonework here, more of that wood, kind of softening it up. I wouldn't have thought I love the wallpaper, but uh, we mentioned kind of who was involved in producing this house. It was uh, Mark Teal Architecture, it was SC Homes. We forgot to mention Kevin Smith over at Details in Design. They did the interior design work and it's staged by Ambiance Home. Uh, really four incredible forces and team members to come together to create this house. Come on back, this is, there's gotta be some, for 22 million, your jaw's gotta get dropped. Right, so the bathroom's amazing, it's elegant. I'm gonna take you to definitely what would be my wife's favorite room in the house. Over 400 square feet of built out, boutique quality primary closet. Now, the way they set this up for themselves, this was gonna be the wife's closet. You've got you know all the shoe showcase walls. Check all this out. Everything's lit up. You've got the beautiful LED lighting. 
This is just done to the nines, perfect waterfall edge, seams done meticulously. The owner of this property is neurotic. He's borderline crazy. If things weren't done right, he'd rip it out. That's kind of what you're getting here. I love everything, the lighting fixtures, the air conditioning, look at the air conditioning reglets. Uh, those are just linear, modern. This is what you're getting in new construction. You're not getting round little two or four inch lights. These are nice square. Uh, I, I love this space. This is a dream closet. Did you show, by the way, I'm so sorry. I was trying to figure out the pool lights, but uh, that didn't work out. You're, but... you're, you're fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you show this? Like, this is a nice three-way function, like, you know little mirror system. Yeah, the, there is another mirror coming in over there. There should be, So you be, can yeah, get yeah, the front yeah. to back. Yeah, So yeah. you can check out the front, the back, it doesn't yeah. matter. You're like, party in the front, party in the back. Let's yeah. let's let's That's go it. on to the, uh, what was originally designed as the husband's closet. Yeah. They're not moving in this house. Um, this is not a spec property. Our clients kind of decided to move to a different area. With tears, they're letting this home become someone else's. But this was a great space. Right here, lots of hanging space, super efficient. Again, I wanna keep in mind, we're on the ocean. This is a beach house. You've got estate or mansion style sized amenities. Crazy, I love this little detail right here. So stone in the front, they ran the glass, Starfire glass with the stone. Well, I think that, you know, so one thing that, one thing to think about is you're talking about like the glass and the stone, but more importantly, when you're in here, right? And you're like, washing it up and you turn around, it's straight ocean. Like you're looking at Catalina. This is why I keep you around. This is why I keep you around. You got all the good ideas. I mean, you know, you could get that shower in any any community in the, like US, That is true. Like, you, know, you, you, are turn literally around, you turn around, you're literally looking, looking at the ocean. And it's super private. Ever since they did this, it's like crazy I, I, private. When you went over to grab the, the yeah, iPad I was mentioning right, about yeah, the film. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's jet over to um, some other cool parts of the house. Did you talk about that? Laundry up upstairs here. upstairs laundry for the uh, primary suite. You know, if, if uh, you know, the Mrs. or the Mr. want to like throw a little quick load in there, boom, right there. Yeah, the Mr. and the Mr. Mrs. and Mrs. Mr. whoever, whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, we're not, um, we're not allowed to talk about that. Yeah, so as we walk down this hallway, you see two great guest suites. These are good be for guests. These are for the kiddos. Um, yeah, if you have kids, if you have guests, I mean, look at the size. King size beds in each of these, plus yeah. large side tables, right? It shows you the scale of this, this room. Yeah, so with, with most of the spec homes or brand new construction properties within this community, when you're down at seven or 8,000 square feet, you know, you've really got small guest suites, you've got small powder rooms, you've got small bathrooms. Yeah. Go, go ahead, Steve, pop in that uh, bathroom. Look at how big that is. Yeah. For one Super of deep. your, yeah. I mean, I don't care if you have, like I do, young kids, or you got a high school age kid, they're not complaining with this space. It feels like a five-star resort that's been brand new, newly built. I love it. Yeah, so you got these two side by side, which with really cool, which what I like about um, the way Mark Thiel designed this with the uh, window system up above, like Steve, pan, pan around here and show. So you have like, all the light coming in, but safety and privacy. Mm -hmm. Like that was the thought process. Yeah. And obviously you're gonna have the motorized shades come down, a longer panel will cover to that window. You can literally just cover that window and still let all the light panels in. Yeah, 100%. Right? Yeah, the light through they're, I mean, they're really tall. Like you'd yeah. have to be 11 feet tall to look through there. I wish I was 11 feet tall. <laughs> um, I love this but divide. Kind of a mirrored, mirrored bedroom. I mean, we- uh, This one feels a little bit bigger to me, is it not? You know, what I happened, love that the TV's already mounted. What, what, what happened is that the, the TV was mounted on that wall, so yeah. they flip flopped the bed, right? Because it's actually almost identically mirrored the bedrooms. If you think about it, yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then, in this one, you've got uh, about the same size bathroom with some cool tile in here yeah, too. Obviously, a different yeah. bathroom. Just, just, just to note what what you're getting for the extra square footage, which this house is about a thousand to two thousand square feet, bigger than most of the other new constructions for sure that have come on over the last for, few years. For sure, yeah. In yeah. cameo shorts. Yeah, the last one sold was like seven two hundred square feet. This is like ninety one hundred square feet. Wow. Um, some of the things that I like to point out, though, Paul, um, are you know like the baseboards, solid wood baseboards. I mean, and when you look at the attention to detail, the way that they're finished and yeah, like, yeah. you know, just- you can't, you can't tell right now, cause it's getting, it's sunset, but like all the angular cuts within the ceiling um, to make it feel more geometric and modern. And they do that to like raise the roof too, because yeah. it, did you to, say, make, did to you make, make it flat. Did you say, <laughs> did you say raise the roof? Silly, okay. we silly, don't want, silly yeah. fools. 
Again, I've, cut, I've, cut that out. Yeah. I've been in some homes lately, right now, brand new construction homes, asking 30, 35, 40 million dollars that have these drywall cuts for lighting or reglets with reveals, and they're all wavy and chipped. I mean, this the literally, ships. this is butter. This is butter. <laughs> right. This is like Rolls Royce. Like, right? we won't name any names, but there was Stop one. It. There was one up the hill where the reglets, right? No, it, it, it's it's literally like they cut it with like a you know cheese grater. Look at the width of this. No, this. This has been, by the way, because the, the team that did this is so OCD, this was done probably like five or 10 times. I mean, it had to I, be I already perfect. Told, I already told Steve that the and the viewers that uh, the owner is meticulous, kind of crazy, right? So when things didn't look good, OCD he ripped in a out. good way. OCD yeah. in a good way. That's the well, house something. you want to buy. That's Correct. the house you want to buy. Correct, yeah. So this is the entertainment space. I mean, what are Lounge, the bar, almost 11, 11 feet. So 11 feet yeah. in the basement. Now, I haven't seen another I mean, house in here. we call it here. basement, but it's weird because it's not really a basement, yeah, right? It's not. No, it's, it's the lower, lower level. level. Yeah. yeah. Jinx. Um, so you've got the garage over there, and I haven't seen another property where you straight up walk right outside to your backyard well, in where, the lower where level. Where you have a, a full garage, 10 car garage, yeah. plus straight up walk out backyard. And, um, this actually is not quite complete. There will be a black uh, metal panel system that goes around here that encloses yeah. this that will give you more privacy. So this is like 98% done. I, I like this part of the house. You know, if you know, we got a dog, you don't want to walk the dog out in the street to come out here do their business. You could pop a fire pit. The kids run around here. Like, yeah. yeah. You put a little you know, bocce ball, little little the cornhole. You go down to the beach. You, you come off, you know, with the boards, and you jump in there, kind of you know, kind of wash off, go back in the I mean, house. Frankly, you and I yeah. would probably build a, a completely badass grill outdoor kitchen kind of scenario. Yeah, we're, we're nuts think, for the grill. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm, we're nuts for the grill, and I feel like we would spend a majority of the time Th down this here. This sounds counterintuitive, but on this particular property, I would stay more in the basement. I would be more on this level than I would upstairs in my waking hours. Right? Right? So, yeah. especially when you're having people over. Yeah. Let's, let's tell them why, Mike. I mean, wait, well, I mean, look, look at this. How many people? So you, you have, you have like eight couples, all your friends, like, you know, your, your closest friends are over. You got the bar, you got the billiards, yeah. you got this. Wait till you see the movie theaters, bananas. Yeah. We're calling it a screening room because it's better than a movie theater. Yeah, so down here you've got, you know, basically a bar bar kitchen, if you will. You got two TVs mirrored up, you got the games on, not game, games. I, I love this space. And as you kind of come through, you know, at first we were debating ping pong table or pool table. You know, ambiance was like, hey, listen, we're gonna do this badass ping pong or pool table. You can buy the cover, the top of it. Yeah, ping yeah, pong. just cover. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and by the way, I don't know if people know, but you you have like this weird thing about ceiling heights, yeah. which is funny. Yeah, the ceiling heights. He's saying I'm short. More I get than it. two yeah. times your height. More than yeah. two times. Take it easy. No, a couple I mean, inches taller than me. Listen, Calm down. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. I, <laughs> okay. So the yeah. the garage is getting the final coat of epoxy or the top layer, so you can't really see it. But obviously, imagine having two cars. Next week, there's gonna be a beautiful Ferrari, um, a, an incredible Porsche, and some other cars in there. So when you're in here, this kind of almost becomes an art installation because your collector's vehicles, or your daily drivers, or your you know classic Jeeps or Land Cruisers, whatever you're into, you're showcasing. So whether you're into the Enzo Ferrari, or you know something new, um, you know, or just something fun, the toys, they're all here and you get to look at them. The fun thing is, is that, so last night, I actually showed this property, it just hit the market, and the person was like, you know, we have three, you know, Teslas and we don't really care about cars, but we thought it would be really cool right here to just put a wall straight across there. And this would be a, your favorite, Ping pong area? No. <laughs> a, a pickleball? Yeah, no. Pickleball. Well, it could be pickleball. It could be, uh, you know, what do you call it? You I don't played. know. There's no. a lot of things. No, you played it. You played it forever. Squash? Squash. We're, there's no one playing squash in there. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's, a, it's not regulation. Don't listen to him. Don't it listen to him. It doesn't be regulation, no, but no. you know, someone, oh yeah. yeah, listen, we also had the other person that they could set up an entire, you know, golf team that are out there. There's That's, so much space there's out a lot there. Of you options. can do whatever you want. You know, so I, I showed, I showed a custom house yesterday. Batting cage. Yeah. So it's funny you mentioned that. I showed a house yesterday uh, that is not on the market. 
and they turned, it was a huge garage. I think it was like 4,000 square feet in, in Crystal Cove. They turned half of it into like a lacrosse area and a full CrossFit gym. So I'm saying. I mean, they, they said during like, COVID, they weren't missing the gym at all. I so mean, I'm it saying, was enormous. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's, so, let's, let's. So I mean, you, you have a small, or I'm not a small, I'm so sorry, I take that back. Redacted, it's not a small gym, but like if you wanted like like the crazy gym. like yeah. CrossFit thing. So check this out. This is like, not just to me, uh, another primary laundry. This is like my wife would put, uh, call this a craft room. You would have rolls of uh, obviously gift wrapping paper. You'd have all your storage here. Everybody loves storage, especially my wife. This would be a ton of, I mean, there's cabinets everywhere. You got a chandelier in your laundry room. Yeah. Right? This is badass. Yeah. It so, is badass, yeah. And by the way, the, uh, the machines are on order. They're coming. Yeah. Um, again, I love the touch of the wallpaper over here. I love that they built the sink out of the stone. Love such it. a nice touch with the wall mounted fixtures. Love it. These are little details that you just know this is such a higher level of execution of, of construction. Yeah. The integrated floating zinc. Yeah. And the, and the European uh, P traps below, you see those? Are you trying to one up me right now? <laughs> you, you love to point out are, that. Are you trying I mean, to one up me right now? Look at the P trap. I love the P trap. Okay. All right. <laughs> you got me on that one. Um, this is a courtyard, obviously to let light in. You don't really need it because you have the, the whole uh, rear of the property with the walkout uh, lower level. But this is the size of, of a junior primary suite. It's an oversized guest suite. You got a great bathroom in there, nice closet. It, sorry I mean, to interrupt. You get a little sitting room right here. So, sorry to interrupt you, but what I love about this is that as a person with a late teenage, you know, set of girls, yeah, like. My girls would love this. Would be a phenomenal. Late, so this would like, be their zone, the teenage zone. I mean, it's a in huge, huge room, right? But then yeah, you have this. Good. So like when like either my older teens off in college, but my younger teens in in high school. And, She's and, not a teen anymore. No, my younger teens for no, sure. The older, the oh, older no, no, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're right. She's yeah. 21. But yeah. my, but my young, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> my my younger teen in high school and has all her friends over our house and they, you know, they hang out in the in the, in the courtyard. This is a phenomenal place. Or if you have that like out of town guest who wants to come. Okay. Um, what? I like that. Are you trying to hold this. up what I'm talking about? No, I am. I am. That's <laughs> like, you know, the old hook. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. No, yeah, yeah. I wanted yeah. to bring out the mic drop. Okay. Let's, can we get All ready right, for well, the mic drop? But I love this space because frankly, look, look, I think that people who, and this is actually important, people who move here, okay? So the upper unit or the upper floor lives like a single story house, yeah. right? So like someone who moves from Pelican or Crystal Cove and they downsize and they want one level with no steps. 9,100 square feet is downsizing for some, well, that's for real. Well, some people come from other state, they're in a 20,000 square foot house and they're looking at a second home, beach house or a smaller primary home, right? So again, if you think about it, if you move here, the, the main level is call it 5,000 ish square feet. Yeah, right. Yeah. And it's one level, no steps. And it's like, you know, your bedroom and you're in, it's like where your you're going to live kitchen down all the, here yeah. is like the fun zone. So like the, when the kids come back from college or your friends come and stay or whatever, yeah. then they come down here. It's like the extra square foot. Well, no, I, I love that if your friends are staying with you, right. They're from out of town. It's like 4th of July. They were all just here watching the fireworks. They could be watching their own movies in the theater. That was the mic drop room. Yeah, we're good. We're heading that you way. You got yeah. another set of TVs kind of in the bar sports bar area. That's another zone where someone could be watching TV or upstairs or in the primary suite. Correct. There's so much space. Yeah. Whereas normally when you're this close to the water, you give up on space, you give up on privacy, you give up on a lot of things, not at this house. It, it, imagine you're, you're like, you're in, you're in the village, right? And you're talking about it's more vertical and it's more tight and it's it's real like every room like you're lucky if you have like a full size bed you're not I mean, getting king you're size lucky beds. if you have a proper closet not no no problem here right so so big gym here glass dual clothes dual floating tvs i mean this, this is a huge gym yeah i mean, I mean it, you could put like the whole proper gym system you can put the you know what do they, they put that thing on the wall what's it called the um yeah, obviously i don't know the mirror thing yeah. whatever <laughs> <laughs> obviously now I don't paul know. goes to the gym I, I like i so paul likes to go to the gym i like home gym you know i wish those were pelotons but uh, yeah the whole mirror thing whatever i mean you have all this space it, it, regardless even if you don't even work out or it can become a you know like a meditation room yoga room a lot of people are doing yoga art so. studio yeah Art studio, yeah. This has got to be one of the sexiest. I was going to say sexiest. Sexiest, yeah. No, I don't know on. if we're allowed to say that anymore, but no, this I'm is going one of with it. it's this sexiest. Is the I'm going to shut sexiest. the door because it gets like, it's quiet. Yeah. This is Boom. the sexiest movie theater. It smells new, it's the right colors. 
It's obviously set up for you don't have to imagine how the furniture is gonna be, but I would have, we're gonna bring two more ottomans here, a couple poofs over there. I would put the little high top tables in the back. We got the table for the candy jar and the popcorn machine coming in, but the starry liner Rolls Royce headliner here in the ceiling is bananas. Panel walls, the speakers are hidden be behind, beautiful sconce LED on, on lighting. On trend lighting, right? I mean, and look at how big and, the space is. And all is. of it is controlled by my phone or the iPad. Right now we have, actually the lighting is- I feel it, so far away from you. Dude, you look really, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to offend you. You look really small. Yeah, listen, I'm all good. I have, I got a large ego. It's okay. No, no. <laughs> from, from here, literally yeah. the You're ceiling You're so is, far, I can't see you anymore. The ceiling is twice as tall as you are. No, I mean, it's crazy. This is a workout just walking in here. I'm just going around. This is a huge room. Yeah. No, I it's love like that, this you space. Know, this is huge. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is where I love the concrete floor above us. You could be blasting, and I've yet to see the new Top Gun. I'm so bummed out. I haven't made time I'm to see to it. I'm about to put it on right now. Yeah. If we get it, we're watching it here. No, no, I can put it on right now. The new Top Gun. For sure. Uh, excuse me? Right now, I can put it on. No, you cannot. Yeah, I can. Did you pirate the film? I can, yeah. No, You're, no, it's, 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 we're, good. we're good. It's out. It's out, yeah. Okay, he apparently has some tricks up his sleeve. I do. So that's the whole tour. We didn't, now listen, can we go back to the beginning of what we said? We made a statement, I made a statement, that this is one of the sickest houses, one of the most stunning, spectacular homes we've ever seen in Orange County. I don't care, forget Orange County, the coast of California. I mean, dude, listen, if you give me, like, if, if I, like, won the lottery, you said you have 22 million bucks, what do you buy? It's this house, dude. I mean, yeah. what's, what else is there? Yeah, and you get the beach, and you can walk into the village, and you get the true modern architecture. People always ask, hey, if I, you know, what's the difference between Newport Coast, Crystal Cove, and like Corona Del Mar, Laguna? Corona Del Mar, you can do that real modern architecture. You can have the metal roofs, standing seam roofs. You can have all the metal and glass, and you can have that modern architecture, which in Newport Coast and Crystal Cove, you've still got to comply with somewhat of a type of European, Spanish, or Santa Barbara exterior, right? R right Here, right. you're going actual modern. You can do contem contemporary. Some people have done mid-century. The issue is sometimes Laguna people will say, hey, you have the same architectural freedom there, but one, it's a lot more work to build a house like this. It's a lot more time. I mean, this is like 12 yeah. years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not quite that long, but you're also going to be in Laguna. This is, if there ever was. I mean, don't go crazy with that because you no, know no. I live in Laguna. No, no, no. I love it. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, no. no you like, come on. You're like, Mr. Like, Laguna. Like, <laughs> Listen, I love Laguna, yeah, but if yeah. you need to work in Irvine no, no. at an office building I, or a Newport and you want to jet down PCH and you just know there's traffic, you just still access the Newport Coast Drive and you're right on the toll road. 100%. I, I, no, I'm with you. I mean, I mean right, listen, right. how many grocery stores are within a three to five minute drive of here? Five. Five. Ooh, excuse so, me. So there's two pavilions. Okay. Right. The and both of them Wait, have. Which is the second pavilion? There's the San Miguel pavilions and the Newport Coast pavilions. You said five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. Okay. 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 Five, six I'm gonna give him that. Okay. Because we're on film. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, like, <laughs> and, and you're my brother-in-law. <laughs> yeah. Listen, you got Gelson's. Okay. You got Whole Foods. Yeah. And you have Bristol Farms. Boom. Yeah, we're not even counting little baby mothers. And forget about just grocery stores. Then up Newport Coast, 73, you're in Laguna, you're at Fashion Island. Like, the, the yeah, I mean, and dream and location. Then not to talk about your ability to walk into the village, eat at Mama D's, like yeah. walk walk up the stairs, which we're gonna- Go get, we, go we, get, we, go get, go get that delicious macho chicken salad yeah. over at Banderas. I mean, you got all of it walkable. Up or the stairs, which I did last night. I took someone yeah. up the stairs and like through the whole uh, thing. Through. Uh, down the coast to uh, Crystal Cove, Beachcomber. You can walk the Beachcomber from here. That uh, is phenomenal. All right, well listen, Mike, I think- You hear the echo? Because it's, the ceilings are so high, the echo yeah. is crazy. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Well, All I, right. think, I think that's a wrap. Uh, I think this that's a wrap. This is 4527 Perham. It is on the market. Message us, hit us up. We'll be able to answer any questions you have. We'll be able to get you in and show it until it's sold, which is gonna be quick on this one. There was a hundred brokers through the house today. Everybody's jaw was on the floor. All right. This is beautiful. We love you. <laughs> Take care. Peace.